Hi everyone, Blessed Beast. So I thought I'd show you my updated Witchy Cabinet tour. So I've got a whole series of these pasta jars now that I've recycled, um, which are the ones with the green lids at the back. Um, and I've started to use the larger jars, so I've got more herbs and stuff in stock of what I use like more often. So I'll show you what I have. Let's just move my smaller jars out of the way. So at the back, I've got some rosemary, uh, cinnamon sticks. There's a stick of Palo Santo, because that came in a kit that um, I had of herbs. I've got my bay leaves. Always got plenty of those. Charcoal discs for when I burn loose incense. There at the back is some mugwort and some mint. The mint is fresh mint that I dried myself. I've got pink Himalayan salt here in this one. I have got a bag with some more in as well, but I wanted to put some of it in a jar to stop it getting damp or anything. I've got roses at the back as well. These are like, I can't remember what the flowers are at the front. Got some coffee beans. I've got... At the, I've got gem, some fake gold leaf for when I do money workings and money oils, some juniper lip berries, some bones, these are little vertebrae from foxes and things that I bought from a witchy market. I've got a cedar burn, um, smoking wand thing, um, lavender bundle, that's what the word I was looking for, I've got lavender, I've got say, some garden sage. And I've got some chamomile, I've got some birch bark, which is good for writing petitions on and burning, and it smells really nice. I have this stuff, which came in a kit. I um, don't know what to use that for, so that's there. I think I'll just use it when I want something to look pretty. I have some storm water, some cloves, and some dragon's blood, blood resin. And the salt in the little one is some pink protection salt got some leaf skeletons from the craft store um, I think I'm gonna use them for something I just haven't decided what yet then down here I've got a box with a spare wreath in it and my tarot cards that I don't use this is from my uh, wax seal kit um, so that's all the stuff there got the lighters and then the box at the back is all the little chunks of the sealing wax at the back, the two big bags are Epsom salts and um, pink salt to use in workings. I've got all my spell candles sorted out by colour in different jars that I've collected. There's sticks and things in the back that I use for making like pentacles and things. Some incense. I've got a little jar with some bones I found in my garden, a sh abalone shell. Um, amethyst, incense cones and then the little jars at the back are all like little random finds so I've got like fossils, shark teeth um, herbs different stones different things I've found that are all in this little curiosity collection then down here let me just move my go cube because I keep it in here to keep it safe I've got my some of my witchy books and my notebooks and I've got spare blank notebooks for future notes that I want to make. I've got my kalimba in that tub I've just put back for when I do meditations. I've got different witchy books that I've read or used in the past and my crystal diary and crystal identification book. The jars there are stormwater and snow water. Um, I've got some of my books like notebooks and things as well and some more storm water um, and then a couple of things I've made and a timer and some sketchbooks and things at the bottom and then that tray's got my wand and my spoon on and some little natural objects so that's what my witchy cabinet looks like now now it's had a good clean and a good sort out and I've transferred things from being in multiple jars into just one big jar by using the um, recycled pasta sauce jars and it all goes into my little witchy cabinet like this down here I've got this little acorn charm that my daughter bought me 
which has a small amethyst on it and some little sort of star charms looks very pretty and I also have this uh, bell charm which has got a Buddha on it and these little bells and I bought it because it sounds really nice and I like the colour of the beads and that's it that's a updated tour of my witchy cabinet hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching blessed be bye for now